Beneath the bustling streets, towering skyscrapers, and scenic bridges of the San Francisco Bay Area lies a hidden danger. One that scientists warn is primed to unleash devastation at any moment. The Hayward Fault, a seismic giant running directly through the heart of one of the most densely populated regions in California, is long overdue for a massive earthquake. Unlike distant geological threats, this fault sits beneath millions of unsuspecting residents, creeping ever closer to its inevitable rupture. Experts predict that when it strikes, it could trigger one of the most catastrophic disasters in American history, leaving cities paralyzed in chaos. The last major earthquake on the Hayward Fault occurred in 1868, a time when the region was sparsely populated. Today, with over 2.5 million people living along the fault line, the stakes are exponentially higher. As we stand on the brink of this impending catastrophe, understanding the science, risks, and preparedness strategies is more crucial than ever. Today, let's delve into chilling details of the Hayward Fault Megaquake. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. California is no stranger to seismic activity, as the state is situated along the Pacific Ring of Fire, where multiple fault lines contribute to frequent earthquakes. Among these, the Hayward Fault stands out as one of the most dangerous faults in the United States. The Hayward Fault is a right lateral strike slip fault, meaning that the land on either side of the fault moves horizontally past each other. It is part of the larger San Andreas Fault System, which stretches from Southern California to Northern California and is responsible for some of the most devastating earthquakes in history. The Hayward Fault extends approximately 74 miles, running parallel to the San Andreas Fault. It begins at San Pablo Bay in the north, passing through several major cities, including Richmond, Berkeley, Oakland, Hayward, Fremont, and Yens near Warm Springs in the south. Because it runs through a heavily populated urban corridor, the risk associated with this fault is particularly high. The Hayward Fault is unique because it is partially a creeping fault. Unlike faults that remain locked until a sudden, large earthquake, creeping faults experience slow, continuous movement. This movement is visible in the form of misaligned sidewalks, cracked roads, and offset building foundations in cities along the fault. However, while this gradual movement relieves some built-up stress, it is not enough to prevent large earthquakes which occur when deeper sections of the fault suddenly rupture. The fault is also closely linked to the Rogers Creek Fault, a major fault that extends northward into Sonoma County. Some seismologists believe that these two faults could rupture simultaneously, leading to an even more powerful earthquake that could exceed magnitude 7.0. One of the most concerning aspects of the Hayward Fault is its well-documented history of major earthquakes. The most significant event in recent history occurred on October 21, 1868, with an estimated magnitude of 6.8 to 7.0. At the time, the region was much less developed than today, with a population of only about 24,000 people in the East Bay. Even so, the earthquake caused extensive damage, collapsing buildings and killing at least 30 people. It was referred to as the Great San Francisco Earthquake, until the much larger 1906 San Francisco earthquake overshadowed it. Evidence from paleoseismic studies suggests that the Hayward Fault has a recurrence interval of approximately 150 to 160 years for major earthquakes. The last significant quake occurred over 155 years ago, meaning the region is well within the window for the next major rupture. Researchers have uncovered geological evidence of at least five major earthquakes along the fault in the past 900 years. Each of these events has followed a roughly similar time interval, further supporting the conclusion that the Hayward Fault is overdue for another major earthquake. Seismologists from the United States Geological Survey and other scientific organizations have conducted extensive studies to estimate the likelihood and potential impact of the next major earthquake on the Hayward Fault. The USGS estimates a 72% probability of a magnitude 6.7 or greater earthquake occurring in the San Francisco Bay Area by 2043. 
The Hayward Fault is one of the most likely sources of such an event due to its historical pattern of ruptures and accumulating stress. The fault has built up enormous stress in the deeper, locked sections, increasing the likelihood of a sudden and violent quake. The Rogers Creek Hayward Fault System could rupture together, producing a magnitude 7.0 earthquake. A magnitude 7.0 earthquake on the Hayward Fault would be especially destructive because over 2.5 million people live directly along the fault, with many more in surrounding areas. Many buildings, particularly older ones not built to modern seismic codes, are at risk of collapsing. The fault also crosses major roads, bridges, and utility lines, meaning a rupture could sever critical infrastructure. A major earthquake on the Hayward Fault would cause widespread devastation in the San Francisco Bay Area. The USGS's haywired scenario simulates the effects of a magnitude 7.0 earthquake, revealing the potential consequences. Hundreds of thousands of buildings would be damaged, with older structures and soft story buildings most at risk. Modern skyscrapers and bridges, while built to seismic standards, would still experience damage and possible failures. Liquefaction, where soil turns into a liquid-like state, would cause buildings and roads to sink, especially in low-lying areas like Oakland and parts of San Francisco. The combination of ruptured gas lines and electrical failures could ignite numerous fires, similar to what happened after the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. The USGS estimates that hundreds of simultaneous fires could overwhelm emergency responders, leading to widespread destruction. Water main failures would make firefighting extremely difficult. Power outages could last weeks or months, with major disruptions to communication networks. Freeways, bridges, and rail lines could collapse or suffer significant damage, paralyzing movement across the region. Airports and ports may close due to runway and dock damage. The economic losses could exceed $100 billion, with rebuilding taking years or even decades. Estimates suggest thousands could be killed or injured. Tens of thousands of people could be left homeless, as happened in the 1994 Northridge earthquake. Emergency services would be overwhelmed, requiring federal disaster assistance. Recognizing the high risk posed by the Hayward Fault, various government agencies and scientific organizations have taken steps to mitigate potential damage and improve preparedness. Many buildings, particularly schools, hospitals, and emergency response centers have undergone seismic retrofitting to strengthen their structures. The city of San Francisco and other Bay Area municipalities have passed laws requiring older buildings to be retrofitted. ShakeAlert, a system developed by the USGS, provides early warnings to residents and infrastructure operators. This system can give seconds to minutes of warning, allowing people to take cover, shut down utilities, and stop public transit. Annual events like the Great California Shakeout help residents practice earthquake drills. Local governments encourage residents to secure heavy furniture, create emergency kits, and establish family communication plans. Major projects have been undertaken to strengthen bridges, highways, and public transit systems. The Bay Area Rapid Transit has undergone seismic upgrades to minimize disruptions in the event of a major quake. The Hayward Fault is a ticking time bomb, with seismologists warning that a major earthquake is inevitable. The last major quake in 1868 serves as a reminder of the destruction that can occur. But today, with millions of people and critical infrastructure in harm's way, the stakes are even higher. Scientists predict that a magnitude 6.7 or greater earthquake could strike at any time, causing widespread building collapses, fires, power outages, and economic devastation. While California has made significant strides in retrofitting, early warning systems, and public awareness, the reality remains that no city can be fully prepared for an earthquake of this magnitude. Continued investment in seismic safety, early warning systems, and public education will be crucial in minimizing the devastation when the megaquake strikes. The big one on the Hayward Fault is not a matter of if, but when, and preparation is the key to survival. What do you think? When the overdue earthquake finally strikes, will we be ready, 
Or will we be caught off guard by disaster? Leave a reply in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.